Hi, this is Robert Esten with LivingPianos.com, your online piano store. With another great American vintage piano from the 1880s, hard to believe. The beautiful thing about this instrument is that it's been meticulously restored and it's also had a gentle history as evidenced from the beautiful set of ivories that are still intact. The piano has new strings and hammers and other action parts. It looks gorgeous. Somebody put a lot of work into this piano be before we were lucky enough to get it. Of course, our technicians went through and did fine level uh, voicing, regulation, string termination, a host of improvements to get a high level performance. So let's start a little bit with some Schumann. This is one of the movements of Carnival. a rich bass for a five foot seven inch grand piano. A.B. Chase, along with a select few manufacturers at that time, were making stupendous pianos. There are so many beautiful pianos from this era, from Chickering and Kanabi, of course, Baldwin, Steinway, Mason and Hamlin. A.B. Chase may not be as familiar as some, but they made truly wonderful pianos in New York, as so many companies did at that time. Listen how it sparkles with a little bit of Scarlatti. It's so nice to play this instrument, not only because of the rich tone, but because the action has been reworked with so many new parts that you get a nice modern feel like the piano was when it was young. I'm going to play something lyrical now so you can hear how it sings in this slow moment of Beethoven's Pastoral Sonata. As time goes on, there are fewer and fewer of these pianos. At the peak, as I've mentioned before, there are over 1,800 companies making pianos in this country. And A.B. Chase was one of the maybe dozen or two dozen top manufacturers at that time. I hope you've enjoyed listening to this piano. Remember, free delivery anywhere in the continental United States on this A.B. Chase, as with most of our pianos. 
Any questions, address them, robert at livingpianos.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.